Hey, some good news tonight about the water used on gardens that comes from Utah Lake. The Department of Agriculture says vegetables recently tested had no toxins from the algae outbreak. And researchers are also making progress predicting algae blooms before they become dangerous. New specialist Sam Penrod shows us more from near the Great Salt Lake. Sam? The algae outbreak at Utah Lake a couple of weeks ago reinforced to a lot of people the seriousness that this can be. And so these research hydrologists with the U.S. Geological Survey are doing what they can to predict these outbreaks well before they happen. If any particles larger than 0.2 micron. All right, so that's going to remove a lot of molecules. Research hydrologists with the U.S. Geological Survey from California are in Utah this week working to develop an early warning system, if you will, to predict algae blooms in Utah lakes and reservoirs. What we'd like to do is build a predictive tool, a predictive model of when we can expect algal blooms to occur at different locations. But in order to do that, you have to have high frequency, high density monitoring. And um, we're using the instrumentation that we have now to effectively show that we can get the results we're after. There are many factors that contribute to an algae bloom that produces dangerous toxins, including heat, sun, and nutrients in the water. Right now, there is no warning until the toxins are already in the water, such as what happened last month at Utah Lake. Since then, we've had a number of other algal outbreaks at Schofield, Reservoir, Payson, uh, among many others throughout the state of Utah. What the researchers say is needed is monitoring stations that send back current data in real time, such as what is used now to measure water flows in rivers across the state, but that will require investment from government agencies. Tools have to come from somewhere um, at some point and how, how they're procured. There's a variety of different sources, at least that the U.S. Geological Survey uses. The research hydrologists will continue to gather the data here over the next couple of weeks. They'll then analyze it and hopefully be able to have better predictors of when these algae outbreaks will happen here in the state of Utah. Sam Penrod, KSL 5 News, near the Great Salt Lake. Sam, thank you. It's been a lot of time.